Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on eViews. In this session, we will be talking about the basics of eViews in terms of the eViews desktop, work files and objects. eViews is basically a very easy to use statistical, chronometric and economic modeling package which can be used or you can work on eViews in based on the three ways. First one is the graphic user interface in which you can use mouse and menus and dialogues. Next is using the command window, which is basically the single commands. After this, you can also use commands assembled in a script executed in batch mode, basically known as the program files. This slide shows you that how a eViews desktop look like. So here you can see that this is the command window where you can write different commands. And this is the object window or the work area, which is which will basically show you different objects in case of your data. In this slide, you are able to see that this is the main menu which consists of files, edit, object, view, proc, quick, options, add-ins, window, helps, etc. type of options. You can also see that there are some uh, acronyms written here like WF, DB, path, which basically represent the path directory, database, and work file in case of the eViews desktop. Now let's talk about the eViews work file and its objects. So eViews is basically not like your Word, Excel, etc. It is basically a blank, uh, blank generic document which needs to be created and in terms to include the data on which you want to work. It's an object-oriented program, which is basically a collection of information relating to particular analysis in terms of your different graphs, tables, series, groups, and equation. And the work files are basically the holder of these objects. So objects are part of the work file in case of eViews. Now let's talk about this aspect of different objects. So in this particular slide, you will be able to see that there are different options defining, consisting of different icons as well, and with different symbols of each of the object. And along with that, the color is also different in most of the cases. As you can see that this, there is like series, groups, and equation. These are the most common objects which are used in the in case of eViews. In this particular slide, you are able to see that this is the work file in case of eViews. So this is the work file title by bar where you can find the title which you have given to your particular work file. This is the work file toolbar which basically ref, uh, allows you to see that what are the different options in the eViews which is available to you and you can use those options in terms of um, uh, analyzing your data. And this is the window in which shows the work file in terms of different objects which are here. Okay, so I have used my, one of my work file based on the data related with China and Africa. And it is showing you different aspects in terms of gross capital formation, foreign direct investment, GDP, GDP growth rate, and so on. This particular picture shows you that here we have mentioned the name of the work file. So I have mentioned it China, Africa, because I was showing you the data related to that only. So you can name whatever you want to your work file. This is the range which has been mentioned here. So in my work file, the data range is from 1997 to 
2017, which consists of around 21 observations. Also, this shows the sample which I'm using that is also from 1997 to 2017. So this is basically the current work file which on which you are working. So this particular aspect will show that. So next look, uh, so let's talk about this eViews work file and object scenario here. So in this uh, slide you will be able to see the list of different objects so you can see that they are differently color coded so yellow icons are the data objects while blue icons are estimation objects green icons are view objects so when i'm saying green icons are view objects they basically shows you the tables graphs etc then when you double click on one of these object icons it will open up and after opening up you will see that each object will be having its own menu and once an object is open the menus in eviews can change to represent the features available to that particular object so let's move to the next slide, which will show you further in detailed aspect. So if you want to work further on this for the detailed view, basically, you can you have two options to do the same, either to go on view and then click on detail on the work file toolbar. And then there is the second option, which simply you can double click on this particular aspect of details. The view will change as I'm going to show you in the next slide like this and you can see that now each object has a separate column in the details view. Okay, and you may sort out the objects by an attribute like name type etc by clicking on the column header. You can also, you eViews also provide you this opportunity to resize or drag the columns, which allows you to alter their positions along with the width or width also. Let's move to the object window, that how object window looks like. So in this menu, I have mentioned that this is the main menu, which shows you the different options. Along with that, when we were talking about this work file toolbar, you can easily see that view prop object. These are the different options available. Now, after clicking on a particular object, so I have clicked on equation, okay? So after clicking on that particular equation, you can see that this was the result here. And this particular object toolbar basically shows you options like view, proc, object, print, name, freeze, estimate, etc. And this is the object window which shows you the result associated with that particular object. Next, move to the series object. Series object is the main data of an object and so here I am going to show you it in terms of the GDP. So GDP is basically a series here, which has been represented through a yellow icon and which also is showing you a little line graph in it. It contains one column of the data only. When we, whenever we are going to talk about the series situation, it will contain only one column of the data. And the opening of a series will reveal a separate spreadsheet view with a single column showing the data in the series like this. Okay, so whenever you are going to click on a single series, you will be able to see that that the data is related to the GDP only and from 1997 to 2015 in this particular slide. Next, moving in detail with the series scenario, uh, to open a series, you will just double click on the series and once the series is open, you can, you have the option like uh, you know, option to click on view and proc menus in the work file to see the available uh, options. <clears throat> so here in this particular uh, 
slide, when you click on view, you will see that the options which are available to you are spreadsheet, graph, descriptive statistics and test, one-way tab tabulation, correlogram, long-run variance, unit root test, variance ratio test, and so on. And when you click on the PROC, it will give you options like to generate by equation, generate by classification, resample, interpolate, seasonal adjustment, exponential smoothing, and so on. And in this particular slide, this is all about the group object. So to open a group object, which has been shown through a yellow icon, okay, by double clicking on the G, you can see that once a group is open, so the group simply means that you want to uh, open more than one series simultaneously. Okay, so you can select them and then you can click on to open as a group. And after the opening of that particular group, you can see the data in this particular format. Okay, so after clicking on the particular group or after opening of the data as a group, you will see that the different options available to you in terms of view, proc, objective, object, print, name, freeze, and so on. So when you will click on view, you will see different options available to you in terms of making uh, use of them for that particular group, like the spreadsheet, data, data table, graphs, descriptive statistics, covariance analysis, test of equality, principal component analysis, and so on. So these all options are available to you with respect to a group. And when you will click on the proc, uh, proc icon, you will see that the options which are available are your make equation, make factors, make system, make vector autoregression, and so on. Next, let's talk about this equation object, which basically is represented through this blue icon mm -hmm. and with an equal sign in it. This is the main estimation object in you use. So whenever you are going to work on different series, you are basically trying to found a value from that. So to found a value from that, you need to develop an equation and that can be in the form of regress, regression suppose, okay. So whenever you are going to open an equation, it will reveal the main result of the estimation. So here, I have uh, basically run an ordinary least is square regression and my dependent variable was GDP and other independent variables were inflation, gross capital formation and foreign direct investment. So this is the window and when you will open an equation object by double clicking on that particular icon, you will see that the different options like view and prog, which were there in case of series, in case of groups, were also available, are also available here also. And whenever you are going to click on view aspect, you will see options such as estimation output, actual fitted residual, ARM structure, gradient and derivatives, and so on. And when you will click on the prog, you will see the options like specify or estimate forecast, make residual series, make regressional series, group, and so on. So this is all about the basics of eViews. Thank you so much.